Watch you guys got another video. If you're installing Windows 11, you need to do this first. Now, the same thing goes for Windows 10 if you're trying to install Windows 10. And every time you install Windows 10, you get to this issue where you have no drivers installed, then I'm going to show you how to quickly resolve this issue. Now, some people don't have more than one computer. And if you install the operating system and there's no drivers installed like this, and you don't have any network drivers, you're not going to be able to download them. And it can be a big problem. Another big issue that sometimes people face is this one right here. We can't find any drives. To get the storage drivers, click load drivers. But you need to have the storage driver for this to work. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a major issue. And I'll show you how to fix this. There's a big problem for Intel uh, rapid drivers. These are normally missing. And this can happen where you don't see your drive up on the top here. And the reason for it is because the storage driver is missing. And I'll show you how we can resolve all of this in this video. So what you need to do first is before you install Windows, you're going to need to make sure that you find out what your motherboard manufacturer make is. And you can do that by typing system information inside your search box. And you can see here we have an Asus motherboard here, Tough Gaming X670 E, and it's a plus version. So when you do a search on Google, you should be able to find this particular motherboard or your motherboard that you have installed on your system. And what you can do here is you need to download the LAN drivers, the Wi-Fi drivers, chipset drivers, audio drivers, VGA drivers, SATA drivers, and storage drivers for that motherboard. Once we've got all these drivers downloaded, I'm just going to put them onto the desktop here into a folder called drivers, because we're going to be using those a little bit later on, and I'll show you what we're going to do with them after we have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you've created an account on CD Key Sales, you can then use my promo code capital B capital R 09, apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows just like you see right here, or you can use it to upgrade from the home to the Pro version. OK, so let's get back to the video. We're going to be going ahead and downloading all of the actual drivers that we need here. So I've got all the drivers now downloaded. And what we're going to do now is download our Windows 11 ISO file. So go over to the Microsoft website and we need to select Windows 11. If you're downloading Windows 10, by all means, go ahead and download Windows 10. Now we need to confirm our language. So I'm going to be using the English international but if you're in the us or any other country choose the language that suits you now we can download the iso file by selecting the 64-bit download and i'm going to put this onto the desktop here I'm going to quickly create a folder and call this windows 11 so we're going to put it inside there so let's go ahead and do that right here click save and that will now download there we go so let's move on to the next bit, which is downloading NT Lite. We're going to download NT Lite. It's a free program you can download and use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download and click on 64-bit. I click Save As and put this into another folder onto my desktop here. I'm going to call this one NT Lite, and you can call yours whatever you like. So once we've got that folder, we can now click on Save. And now we have all these saved onto our desktop here. OK, so let's start off with what we're going to do here. So first off, let's extract all of the drivers. So we need to extract all of the driver packs here. You can see they're all in zip files. So all we need to do here is right click and extract all. And it will extract it into the same folder because we don't want zip files. We want to unpack them. It's going to take a bit of time. So I'm going to unzip all of these. And when we're done, we'll be right back. So I'll speed through this process very quickly here and we can then move on to the next step. OK, so now we've got all of the driver packs unzipped. So what I'm going to do here is do this very last one here. And then once we've done all of these, we can then delete all of the zip files because we won't need all of the zip files. We just need the unpacked versions. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So that was the last few. So I'm going to highlight all the zip files now and we can delete those. So here we have all of the driver packs and software that we're going to use for this motherboard, and they have now been unpacked. 
So let's go on and move on to the next step, which is installing NT-Lite. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. We're going to click Next. And we're going to go Next again. And we're going to Create. There we go. So now we can launch NT-Lite. And it will open up the program. And from here, you can see it wants you to purchase the license program. But we're going to go ahead and have limited non-commercial because that's what we are. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. OK, so now what we need to do is drop that down onto the taskbar for the time being. We're going to go into our Windows 11 folder and mount our ISO file. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And that's now done. And that's now mounted. And you should see all of the files inside here. These are all our Windows files. So I'm going to highlight all these and copy them. And we're going to put these into a folder onto our desktop. And we're going to call this work. So let's go ahead and make this folder called work. And then we're going to paste all of these files inside here. This will take a while to unpack all of these files into that work folder. I'll just quickly speed this process up. And that's now done. So there we have our ISO extracted into a folder called work. So we're going to back up to our NT Lite program here, which we just dropped down to the taskbar. And now we need to mount our ISO. Now, this is our operating system that we have, so we don't need to touch that. So let's go up to add. Now we can either add a image directory or we can uh, add the ISO or WIM or ESD file. But we're going to we're going to actually mount our work folder here because this is where we've got our ISO. And now you can see all of the versions that we have inside here. So I'm going to mount the Windows 11 Pro. So now we just need to click on the Windows 11 Pro version here because that's the version I'll be using. So you select which version you're using. And once we've done that, you can see it's starting to load that um, ISO directory that we've got there. So you can see it's in the work folder and that's the one it's mounting. And it's going to start to mount this so we can work on it. So I'm going to speed this process up. And uh, we should see the Windows 11 Pro turn green and it now says loaded. That means it's now working. Now, we can remove some of these versions of Windows if we want to. Uh, but I'm going to do that at the end. But if you do want it, do it now, you can highlight these and click delete. And it will allow you to delete these just like this by clicking on the delete. But I'll do that a little bit later on. But what I want to say here is if you are suffering from having missing drivers during the installation process and it causes you a bit of a headache, then by all means you can integrate drivers by doing it this way. It's very easy and it stops you running into issues like I showed at the beginning of the video. So if we want to integrate these, we can either add a file or a directory. So let me just show you the file way first. So click on the file and then we're going to navigate to our drivers folder. And you would obviously need to select the file to integrate into. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with, say, for instance, one of these right here. So let's go here and select open. And you can see this method is a little bit more difficult because you need to make sure you're selecting the right driver. And it will be the .inf file that you need to select. And there's a bunch of them here. And it's going to go ahead and it will install these onto the system. Because this is the way it works. It doesn't install the executable files. It will be the INF file. And that's what you need to do. So go ahead and select the right file. And click open. And it will integrate it like so. So now we've got that one done. Let's go ahead and we'll do one more here. And then I'll show you the directory uh, method here. So let's do one more. Click add. Driver files. And we need to select another one. So let's go to the drivers folder again, which is inside here. And then we can select another one. So let's go ahead and select this one right here. You can see chipset. And if we select open, there's nothing there. So we need to go back. And what it's looking for is the supported types of .inf. So you've got to navigate through the folder system and find the actual INF file. And in this one, it's Windows 11 X64, and there it is right there. So you need to do this one right here. Now, if you want to do the actual directory, you can do. And I'll quickly show you how to do the directory. So we're going to select 
directory containing all of the drivers. So we're going to go back here. And obviously at this stage, you would select the driver folder and it will then integrate all of them. So let me click the back button to the desktop here. And you can see all of these here. And all we need to do here, is select the actual drivers folder and click and it will add all of these in like so. Now it's already got some existing ones inside here because I've added them in. So it's just going to ignore those. But you can see we've now added all of those in. So during the installation process of Windows, you're not going to have any missing drivers because we have them all integrated into the actual ISO. So if you are suffering from issues like storage driver missing or other drivers missing like network drivers, it won't happen anymore. It's quite rare nowadays on Windows 11, but there is some systems that still have missing drivers. So here is the update section here if you want to add updates. And we've also got registry here for registry tweaks. And also we've got some other bits on here as well. Components. If you want to start removing components, this is where you would go ahead and remove the components from that operating system. But that is out of the scope of this video. But if you wanted to remove a scheduled tasks, this is where you can do that as well. And you can see them all listed right here. Uh, you would just obviously be careful with ones that you are removing here, because obviously if you start to remove these components, um, what's going to happen is it can break the operating system. So you need to know what you're doing. I have made videos on this in the past. But if you want to see an updated video, then let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to make that video for you. But NT Lite is a very powerful tool at removing all of the stuff that you're not going to use and all of the bloat that you don't need. As you can see, scheduled tasks is here as well. If you want to turn off some of these features, you can do. Uh, you can see it says default there, but you would just like bit, bit locker. If you don't need bit locker, you can turn that off. Again, features here. There's some features here that I do want to disable. I just want to do one here just to show you. I just want to get rid of recall uh, because this is going to be 24H2. And all I need to do is just highlight it and take the ch check mark out. And this will basically disable that feature. And I, I would also do Copilot as well and a bunch of other stuff here at this stage. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to concentrate on recall for this and also the driver uh, installation integration into this ISO here we've got some other areas here this is the settings here if you want to make changes to the settings you can do you can also integrate your auto uh, unattended file if you wanted to at this stage and add that into the ISO so when you install Windows it will have all those settings done for you uh, you've got your services area here as well and this is your unattended right here you can mess around here and create your own unattended section as well but we're going to move on to the finalization of this and create our iso so let's go ahead and click on apply here and you can see it says save the image but we also we've got an option here to either save it as a dot wim file or dot esd and esd will be a lot more compressed but i'm just going to leave it as dot wim it really doesn't matter and you can see the driver integration here is listed here this is where we can uh, create the ISO right away or we can remove all the non-essential additions of Windows at this stage if we wanted to and I'll go ahead and do that by check marking this right here and it's going to remove all the unwanted ones that I don't need uh, like home and stuff like that because I'm just going to leave this as professional once we're happy just put the check mark in create an ISO and we can save this into a folder called say ISO or whatever it is you want to call it so let's just call this ISO and we're going to select that folder and it keeps it nice and tidy. You can rename this whatever you like here. And I'm going to leave this as NT Lite and click OK. And once we've done that, we can click the green button to process. And you can see here Windows Defender has detected it's turned on. So I need to turn this off because the nature of these programs, it can conflict with uh, the Windows Defender. So I'm going to go ahead and go to privacy and security here and just quickly disable it while it's a... Uh, creating my ISO file and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into this location right here manage settings I'm going to turn this off temporarily and that is now done we can turn it back on afterwards it's just while the program is running because the nature of the program will flag and it can stop the process 
So what we're going to do is we're going to click yes, and it will open up this because it wants to take me to that location. But I'm going to say yes again because we've already changed it. And just make sure you change it back after the fact. So now what it's going to do is going to go ahead and remove and disable recall. And it's also going to integrate all of our drivers. And then it will go ahead and make some changes and remove all of the unwanted additions, non-essential additions of Windows because we don't need those. If you do want them, then just leave them uh, on the actual ISO. It's not going to hurt. So I'll speed this process up. Just sit back and be patient and let it do its thing. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly create the ISO here. And it's now creating that ISO. And that job is now done, completed. So now we can click OK here. And you can then put this onto a USB flash drive using Rufus or whatever tool you want to use and install Windows. And it will automatically integrate all of your drivers during the installation process. This is the file right here and it will make the changes that you made in the ISO, for instance, disabling recall and other ones if you wanted to at a later date. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. Hopefully this resolves all your problems. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one.